So welcome guys to the new series, Basics of Figma Animation. In this video, we're gonna do this pull down refresh screen. The Figma file will be linked on the description down below. So if you want to follow the tutorial, grab the Figma file and let's start. So this task list screen is from the previous design takeover. We'll first create the container for the loading icon. Then we'll make a circle, color it orange, then we will create craters using little circles with a more darker orange color. Now we are creating a pattern. So a little tip in creating a pattern, we should never put two exact circles near each other. So now we're gonna mask this thing. First we should copy the orange circle. Then we select these two layers, the dots and the craters. Then right click and create mask. After that, go to the layer section, the mask group. Click the eclipse and then paste the orange circle. Now we will do some refinements. So I'm just moving the craters to the left. Deleting some of them if it doesn't look good, expanding and scaling them down also to add some variations. And now we're gonna group the task card along with its header, and we're gonna group also the loading circle along with the background. Also, be sure to rename them and name mine task list for the task list and the circle for the loading circle. So we want to hide this loading circle. So let's create a rectangle with the same color as the background. Place it underneath it and we'll copy the layer. On the second screen, we will move the task list and the loading circle down. The point that the yellow underscore on today sits on top of the loading bar. Now we double click on the loading bar until we get to the crater and move those craters a little bit to the left. Now on the third screen, what we will do is scale down the container of the loading circle and move the task list up. You can also move the craters on the right side on this screen to have the rewind effect. And then on the fourth screen, we'll move the craters to the left until it reaches the last circle on the right. Then on the next screen, we will hide the loading bar again. I'm also making sure that the task group is aligned properly. And then on the last screen, we will duplicate one task. Place it on top so that it will be the first one to display and then move the other task down and align them properly. Now what I'm doing is I'm placing the loading circle inside the task list group and placing it under the background rectangle. You can actually do this on the very beginning, doing this to ensure that the drag animation for Smart Animate will play properly. So now we're gonna start animating. So first we're gonna select the group of the task list together with the loading bar. We'll go to the prototype tab under the share button and give it an interaction of on drag smart animate with an ease out of 150 milliseconds. The next interaction is an after delay with one millisecond and a smart animate ease out of 100 milliseconds. The next interaction again will be an after delay of a 1 millisecond and then a smart animate is out of a 4000 millisecond. So this will have a lag effect of the creator animation near its end. And then on the next screen is an after delay of 1 millisecond again, smart animate of ease out with 100 millisecond. And 
and the last animation is an after delay with one millisecond and an ease out smart animate with uh, 250 millisecond. So here are the individual animation timings again. So here is the final result. Thanks again for joining in. Again, if you want the Figma files for this exercise, they're on the description down below. And if you found this informative, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Figma animation stuff. I hope you all have a great day and have a good one.